hello everyone today i'll talk about how action works and uh, to start with let's uh, move to customer relationship management and under that we need to look for the basic function under that action and then if you see under action and transaction define action profile and action so we will use this option instead of going with the wizard okay so what i'll be doing is actually i i'll be uh, creating an activity and then on that activity i want to have an uh, follow up task getting created so that is uh, based on the action determination i'll i want to achieve that so let's see how i can do that so what i'll do is first is i'll go into change mode i'll click on the activity this is the standard given by sap so i'll just uh, copy it and I'll try to name it as GKB activity and here I'll put KB activities okay and the business object repository so the object type it is for the activity date profile I am for the time being I'll remove it and then the context class so I'm not going to change anything here just hit copy all I'll append G to everywhere so these are actually different uh, accents which are defined and we actually don't need all of them we'll delete all of them let it get copy first so total number of entries copy 11 you see we have uh, the new KB activity got created now I'll just select this one and I'll click on view and I can see all this information here I click on action definition under the action definition I just need to have the follow-up task getting created I don't want other than like I don't want this this and even this we have deleted all other uh, action definition we just kept the uh, action definition which is required for the follow-up activity so the action definition name is uh, G activity follow-up and if you see the processing time processing time not permitted so this is like it's used to when at what time we want to trigger this definition that is uh, that can be decided based on the few predefined things available with us here so I have selected the immediate processing and there is no restriction when this will not get triggered and uh, <clears throat> sort of order of display so if you have multiple uh, uh, action definitions in, in which sequence they should get uh, uh, displayed and um, there is something scheduled automatically this will be used uh, to trigger it uh, or let's say the scheduling will will be happening automatically and if you check it here otherwise you have to do it manually so for the time being I'll not uh, check it let's see how it goes and this is uh, you can also have the partner function partner determination available in the action profile the action merged so this this actually tells uh, at a given point in time how many, how many actions can be uh, <coughs> there so it says there a maximum one unprocessed action for each action definition so so this is uh, important so that we don't end up creating the same particular uh, in our case it's follow up uh, activity so follow up tasks so we don't end up creating multiple follow up tasks for the same uh, set of uh, events so when we it triggered one so it should not just create multiple times again and again so it is that is why it is important to set this action merger and if I'll go on the processing type so we have method call and it is default to be have set it if you have multiple then you can all set one as in default so that will be used for the default processing so I'm not going to change anything here so this is this was a copy of activity which we have created into a GB activity save our changes <coughs> okay now I'll I'll start with the we have created the action profile now I have to do the action definition so the uh, we have to define we have defined the definition we have to define the conditions for it so I click on the define condition 
so we are into the condition uh, for the action screen I will look for the uh, action profile which we have just created okay so if you see it's GKB activities so I just did double click on the uh, action profile which we have created we have no activity created here uh, so just let's let me just click on this so if you can recollect in our action profile we just have only one action definition that is create follow-up task so we just got only one now we select that and now we can have the conditions set up for this particular uh, definition okay so in first two tab it is uh, we can probably leave it as it is it's whatever default it come and um, so default setting for action definition I'll just do it F1 for you uh, it is uh, in order to uh, make the settings whatever we do here to applicable we must uncheck this okay so I'll just uncheck it and the time of processing is immediate processing so first two type I'm not going to make any changes as such I'm going to schedule condition schedule conditions it is uh, again um, before um, actions can be triggered it should be scheduled first so before the action can be started it should be scheduled so what is the um, criteria on what condition the action must will be getting scheduled so I'll just click on the edit condition <coughs> I'll give it a name G knowledge booster score it is my schedule condition so I'll put SCH so and uh, we have something if you see here the big blue box you have to click here in order to start uh, putting the conditions so when I clicked here if you see we have got a, a different dialog box open here and you can see the under the container <coughs> we can see the activity or the business object which we have selected when we built our action profile so we can see and you can you have access to all those uh, attributes in that business object so for my ref, for my um, demo purpose i want when the uh, system status is um, in process then only i want to trigger this particular uh, follow up task or I want to trigger this action so what i'll do is i click on just uh, I on here this is see uh, I'm selecting first expression system status double click here <coughs> it came here then select equal to okay now I have to select this expression 2 that is um, for I know it is I1003 so if it is equal to in process press enter then only the um, this actions will get triggered from us from this will get scheduled as okay click ok so all the conditions whatever put in we have put in it can be seen here okay just save it again the start condition is the condition under which the action will be executed okay so it is it can be most of the time it can be same until unless we have different uh, approach so again i'll put it here gkb underscore okay and again the same way we have to click on this blue area and then again we have i'll put the same thing i want my system status equal to i1003 okay press enter click ok can see this uh, conditions appearing here I clicked on save <coughs> okay so now I have uh, done almost everything I have put in the schedule condition I have put in the start condition I have uh, the accent definition conditions ready now I just click on save here and click on back Okay, so we have created the action profile. We have made the action conditions, uh, definition conditions as well. Now we need to assign it to a business transaction uh, so that we can actually trigger the actions from the transaction. So 
to do that I'll click on the assign action profile to the business transaction type okay so I want to uh, trigger my action on to the um, transaction of interaction log when a user is creating an interaction log and when interaction log status is set to in process I want to create a follow-up task so very simple so I just what I'll do is I just click on display here and uh, for the action profile so you see here we have G something so I'll assign the one we just created G K B star I'll do F4 <coughs> So there are not too many. So we click GKB activity. Okay. So I click on say it asks for an um, transport assign. So what we have done is assign um, our action profile to the transaction type that is interaction log. Whenever we want to going to we are going to create an interaction log we will be getting uh, this action profile will come into picture and our condition will be used to actually trigger the action profile okay so back okay so whatever the settings we have done we have done everything under the action and you can see this is the area we created the action that we have created the conditions and we assigned it to a transaction type now I'll go to a T code crmd underscore order okay i'll click on create i'll create an interaction log business activity okay i'll select the sales log out of many Okay, I'll put the description as <coughs> KB follow-up task. I'll assign some activity partners to it. Okay. <coughs> if you notice the current status uh, is just don't get confused by E001. It is the user status, not the system status and uh, let's say I put it uh, testing action profile follow-up task I click on save here okay it got saved and if I just click on here and if I go into action you see nothing is here and again if you see action here also this is toolbar there also we don't have any option so why this is not there because we have uh, put in the schedule condition so when our status is in process and we have the schedule and start condition as same so when our status is in process at the same time it can be scheduled so we can see it here and at the same time we can cl click on this so you see KB create follow-up task you, it is coming here again a question can be asked like why it did not trigger it automatically and if you remember we have a setting scheduled automatically so since it is available for us to schedule but it is not scheduled automatically and if we could have checked that scheduled act, uh, automatically then we, we don't have to do it manually so for this instance I'll do it I'll click on KB create uh, so you see follow-up task got created automatically okay now just click on save here so this is how accents action profile can be used to uh, trigger multiple um, background activity background uh, actions can be used to do too many things like printing of the document sending out an email to a based on the business logic so that is very much possible so for I'll complete this demo I'll um, go and change the action profile to schedule it um, 
automatically immediately so I'm again on to the same SPRO page I'll navigate I'll go into change mode I'll navigate to the action profile which we have created GKB activity and just click on view detail go into action definition <coughs> And I click on schedule automatically so what will happen now is since our start condition is schedule condition so both the things at the same time we would be able to see the um, follow-up task getting created okay so let's again um, create the um, interaction log select the cell stock put in the description here just say an activity partner okay Mm, I'll put the description. Let's say some text note as um, auto trigger of uh, action task. So since our stack is open, the um, not even the action will not get scheduled. So we will not be able to see anything here and not even into the action tab okay now we're getting back to the detail tab and i'll change the status from open to in process and i click on save okay unlike uh, in when we did not had schedule automatically check when we click here we used to get the scheduled action here but since it we have done it automatically we can come here and see it should have automatically triggered the task you can see the following task got automatically created okay so that's it from my side i know this is a very basic uh, action profile use which i have talked about there are um, uh, there are too many things which we can do we can use smart form we can use uh, emails we can there are too many options that can be uh, experimented and worked upon so i hope this will give you a very basic start on the uh, action profile and you can maybe investigate further and do r d and get more of out of it thank you very much in case of any query you can write to me thank you